Because I think you're a great woman. Now, I'm going to prove to you what Mystic I just mentioned here. Now, I will, I will put this one here. I'll put it here, okay? Can you please try to lift this one for me? Can you try to lift it? Try to lift this bottle. No, 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 you lifted it. <laughs> I saw you. Everybody knows that you can lift it. Yes. But I want to see how you do when you try only. Try, try only. Let's lift it. Try it. Are you trying now? Yeah. You try it. Can you try as hard as you can? She, look at her now. She's trying now. <laughs> Does it happen anything when she tries? I just no, no. Thank you very much. You just proved the point. <laughs> Nobody's brain, not yours, not mine, knows the word trying. Your mind is black and white. You tell your mind, I can do it, of course I can. If I told you, lift it, of course, you can lift it. And I could have said, don't lift it, you would not lift it. So when I said try, what was it? It was the same as I would say to your mind, don't lift it. Isn't it? So everybody who tries, well, you know, I can try to lift a hundred kilo. I could try. I could try. Yeah. But you see, if I said I will, it might I might not do it the first time, but I will try until I make it. So I will continue to train myself until I make it. But if I said I will try, I'll go out, try. I couldn't make it. So I said I couldn't make it. I tried. I tried my best. I didn't make it. That's not good enough. Don't try. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> and if you say I'll do it, I'll do it now. That's the main issue. You see, you will grow so fast you won't believe it. Because you have the right attitude. That's what you want to take off. Now, I would like to go into a little small thing. You know, my first book, the one I wrote, uh, in fact, 25 years ago, it was called The Secrecy of Body Language. Does anybody here know what body language is all about? Well, you know. There are, there are many things with body language, but let me explain a little bit. I will put here our body language. Our body language, you know? Let me ex explain to you. Body language is the non-verbal language. That means you don't speak it. When people, when pe when people read it, and it's not only the non-verbal, but it's also the subconscious language. It's not the conscious language. It's subconscious. You, the way you sit, the way you walk, any way you move your body, your head, your facial expression, your hands when you talk, all these things combined will send out signals about you. Tell people who you are. You see? And you will be judged, ladies and gentlemen, on who the people think you are not who you are. They don't care who you are. They will judge you on what they see from your body language. It speaks much louder than the words. They say that 7%, only 7% of what you say is perceived by somebody that those are the words. But 55% is body language. That's a signal, you know. So let me just for the sake of it and simplicity of it show you in practical life, how the body language works. And you will now tell me, who is this guy walking here? I'm going to be walking on two different two different paces and settings here. Okay? And you shoot from the hip. The first thought that came in, come into your mind about who is this guy? What is he thinking? What kind of people? What kind of person is it? Yes, give it to me. Scream it out. Yeah. Understand? Everybody do the same thing. I'll be walking two ways. I want to see the first one. Are you ready? Yes. Here comes the first guy. What do you think when you see somebody like that? Well, exactly. It was not, not even one positive thing, isn't it? It was all negative, you know. 
gloomy, negative, old, sloppy, lazy, you name it, you got it. Is it? Nah, look at the next one. Are you ready for the next one? He was an optimist, he was smart, he was strong, he was goal oriented, he was artistic. He said something. Yes. Come on, huh? He's sexually active. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I can get, well, I can guarantee you one thing. If a guy likes this, if a guy walks like this, he's definitely not sexually active. <laughs> well, you see, but you see, you see that you see clearly the difference between those two, doesn't don't you? Now here, here comes my question to you: Who are you when people see you coming in the morning at work, or whenever they see you for the first time? Who are you? Judge to be, because I hope so. I hope so. Because you see, we people, it depends on what happens to you today, and we can change from one to another. You know, in short determines. But you see, you have to have it in you. You cannot, when you walk like the second one, it's impossible. You cannot. And you cannot feel good if you walk like the first one. It's impossible. So you better think about it, because if you want to feel bad, just walk like this. Check your walking and check your ways. Because you see, it has, I always walk fast. I've decided I will always walk fast. Even sometimes I stumble, you know, like that. I don't care. I don't want to look down. I want to look up and forward. I'd rather stumble a couple of times. The only thing is, I've learned it from the boxing. I've been knocked down, but never knocked out. They hit me as so I came to the floor, but I bounced back immediately. So, you know, it doesn't matter if you stumble a couple of times in life. In fact, it's good. Because you hit your toe, you say, I'm not going to do that again, for sure. You know, If you lose money, like me, many, many years ago, I know for sure I'm not going to do that mistake again. I do it the correct way now. I have no time. I can tell you, many, many years ago, I built the best, biggest and the most fantastic house in town, in my hometown, on top of the hill. I was looking on the, down on everybody until I had to give the bank my house. I didn't feel good at it. But my, when my wife at the time said, we know, what are we going to do now? I told her, well, I don't know about you, but I'm going to start building again at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's what I'm going to do. So you see, it doesn't matter if you hit down, you just bounce back and go to work on your goals. That's what you have to do. Now, I would like to end up, because now I spent, you know, one and a half hour, that was uh, what I was planning to do, and I'm going to present the lady for you very soon. So I'm going to just end up by asking you, That's the one I'm going to end up with. <laughs> you see, they are, even, they are even quicker than me, these guys. Are. Now, my question to you is very simple. My question to you is very simple. I have gone through 10 keys of success for motivation forever, actually. And if you really get yourself a motive so you know where you're going and have a clear goal that you want it more than anything else you are likely to get it but if you don't have a motive don't complain because you don't get any success because there's no way you can get it unless you have a motive and you can never be motivated without the motive now you better be an optimist and believe in yourself that you can do what you set out to do because if you don't become an optimist there's no way you will reach any big goals you will find excuses you know the pessimists they spend more time finding excuses than doing the real work. They could just as well work and done it, but no. They spend more time, the same time, to find excuses. That's what they do. 